Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the 27th October edition of our aviation news review here at news.airclips.com. I'm Patrick. Today we start in Alaska where Alaska Airlines Group has just announced that they are teaming up with a company called Zero Avia. They are now one of the main investors in Zero Avia and have also committed to an option for 50 conversion kits for a hydrogen engine to power future 76 seat airliners. And if you look at the media uh, news at Alaska Airlines website, it looks like a converted Dash 8 Q400. These aircraft are supposed to fly up to 500 nautical miles with zero emission. Um, and uh, we stay straight in the United States where AL.com from Alabama reports that Breeze Airways has received its first Airbus A220 from Airbus Alabama facility. Uh, that's a 145 seat configuration and David Nealman, the CEO of Breeze Airways is reportedly so happy with this aircraft, its comfort and performance that he considers it a future game changer. And Breeze Airways is expecting 15 aircraft to be delivered until the end of 2022. Reuters reports that Lot Polish Airlines has now sued Boeing in a conflict over the grounding of its Boeing 737 MAX aircraft and a disconsent with the compensation for the damage caused by that. Other aviation media outlets even report that Lot is threatening Boeing with changing to Airbus. Uh, whereby Lot is a very long-standing loyal Boeing customer. So we'll see what comes out there. Last but not least, the business Wire reports that GA Telesis has topped up its order for Boeing 737-800SF Special Fridays by another six orders, making it a total of 12 airframes. And the new airframes will be converted in AEI facilities and are all expected to be converted and delivered until the end of 2023. As always, you will find all the original media links and resources in the original YouTube upload of this clip at news.airclips.com, where you can also report to our daily news service here. Thank you very much. See you again tomorrow.